Welcome back, campers. It's Far Out Future Week, and today we're learning about light. Burke, what happened? Oh no, our OSHA compliant disco ball deployed. That means we're out of power. Wait, no, no, no. We should have at least three more days of power. I, I don't know how this is happening, but our potato power program is facing quite a predicament. Okay, that was a lot of alliteration, which oh. is a lazy writer's trick. But that's not the problem. The problem is that our potato's not putting out a full charge. Oh no, this is the worst timing ever. How are we supposed to show the campers about spectroscopes and light when we don't have any light? All right, cool your penguins, Burke. This is not a drill. We're makers, and when stuff hits the fun, we get making. You're right. Yeah, you're right. You know what? Yeah, we, we, we can do this. If we use just a little bit of this and a little bit of that, anything is possible. Anything. Not everything is possible. I don't know how this is happening. I feel like we've tried everything. Uh, so let's just focus. Let's take it one step at a time. Yeah, you're probably right. Campers, while we try to figure this out, check in with Emily's Quick Tips, where she'll teach you some awesome stuff with giant bubbles. Hey campers, welcome back. Well, I had a lot of fun watching that big bubble video. Paloma's been here actually doing all the work for us. Yeah, I've rewired the whole camp, put new potatoes in all the substations, and hopefully when I plug this in, it'll all work. Okay, let's give it a... You Yay! did it! You did it! Fantastic! It oh, oh, we oh made my it goodness. Through. See, that's one of the best parts about projects, campers. It's not just about finishing. It's about how you persevere when things don't work out. Yeah, this one was a tough one. But now we get to go to the fun part where we talk about our projects. Well, we're, you know, that's at the end of the video. We're, we're not there yet. Oh, how long is it going to take? I don't know. It should be just a few
campers, it's time to talk spectroscopes. Oh, I'm so excited. I have mine. Where's yours? I have mine. Ah. Look at that. We both made something. I'm actually really surprised since I spent all day fixing the electrical at camp. It's pretty shocking, really. Yeah, but I think it looks really cool. Yours is much prettier on the outside. I definitely love that paper. Yeah, I found this paper, and it's gorgeous, and it's kind of nice to roll reflects the light and it's you can very use all reminiscent different kinds. of what happens is that you scatter light and it looks all cool and patterny yeah mine's pretty pretty simple but I created this pattern with the push pins and when you look through it it's so cool it like makes all of these patterns every which way as it reflects through the spectroscopic film it's awesome yeah you can also you have a simple pattern too that, that's pretty effective as well but you only get one big pattern as opposed to a bunch of little ones. Still looks nice though. Yeah, this one makes a bunch of crisscrosses and his is a bunch of parallel lines, but they both show you something really awesome, which is that when you point at different lights, you see different light spectra. So like if you point it at a neon light, you're gonna see something different than when you point it at maybe the ones in your bedroom. Yeah, and you want to, want to experiment with different kind of light sources and see how that works. Just be sure not to use the sun. That's one light source you don't want to see the full spectrum this way. Yeah, that wouldn't be too good. Mm -hmm. And if you don't have the spectroscopic film, you can use a DVD. We have plans for that on MakerCamp.com. And remember, if this is too difficult or too easy, you can always go to MakerCamp.com to find other projects that are within the day's theme. And now let's check out what you did with yesterday's ideas. Welcome back, campers. That was some great stuff that you submitted out there and quite the adventure. Wouldn't you say, Paloma? Definitely. So what did you figure out today? I learned that we shouldn't run 220 through the camp. We were never rated for it, and I'm not even sure a potato can put out that kind of power. That's a pretty good point. Campers, make sure you upload your photos and videos to the Maker Camp community where you too can become internet famous and type Google into Google, thus breaking the internet. You can also leave your questions and comments for me, Paloma, a person who's discovered a way to create cold fusion, but nobody will believe her because it involves vegetables. Use hashtag MakerCamp for your Google+, Instagram, Twitter, Dirty Harry, Harry Carey, Carrie Grant, Grantimahara. See you later, campers.